Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I've got a real doctor next to me. Let's ask him instead. It's our Ask the Pharmacist segment. Dr. Michael White from the Yukon School of Pharmacy has a viewer question today from Craig. Get to that in a quick second. First of all, hello. Hi. Good to see you. Real doctor. Okay. Uh, Craig wrote in to say that he has a family member who's 20 months old who has epilepsy and modern medicine isn't working. So can CBD oil help her? If so, who and where can this treatment be offered? Her doctors don't seem to be all that well-educated, Craig says, in CBD oils that are used for treatment. So can you help? What are your thoughts about all this? Yeah, so uh, in children who have uh, Lennox-Gastaut syndrome or Dravet syndrome, they have two very large clinical trials. They show very clearly that when you're on therapies that are not being successful, like traditional therapies, and then you add a specific type of CBD oil, Epidiolex, which is now FDA approved, it is a prescription CBD product, yes. that you can significantly reduce the number of seizures that, uh, that children have. So the good thing about uh, Epidiolex versus using something like medical marijuana is that the THC concentration is incredibly small and that the CBD concentration is very, very stable from dose to dose. It's gonna yes. be a weight-based therapy, so the smaller the child, the lower the dose, and then as the child grows and gets bigger because it's based on weight, the dose that the child would end up taking would get larger over the course of time. So I don't know what uh, seizure disorder the uh, the child has specifically, mm -hmm. um, but you know therapy is approved for people that are 24 months or older. Okay. If it was one of those two syndromes, definitely very, very strong uh, evidence. Outside of those two syndromes, there's a very good possibility of benefit, but there's not a lot of data in those other types of epilepsy syndromes. Okay, uh, putting Epidiolex aside, what about uh, any CBD that maybe you can get off the internet or in smoke shops? Just how different are CBD oils versus the CBD oil that you're getting just from Epidiolex? Yeah, so the big risk that you have if you try to go over the counter and take those products is that uh, even though the label may say that it has this much CBD, they've done a number of different studies in the United States and overseas, and when they actually test those products, they see that the variability in that dose is actually pretty high. Yeah. Some of them are saying that they have a reasonable amount and then they have virtually no CBD in them, and then other products have higher amounts of CBD. On top of that, the other product that uh, uh, that is found in CBD oil is a trace amount of THC. So mm. Epidiolex, they keep it at a very, very low dose, very consistently at that low dose. But when they looked at these over-the-counter products, sometimes they had more THC in them than either than even the FDA would say is good for uh, CBD yeah. products. So that you may actually end up getting your child, you know, some degree of high when they're taking some of those products. So if yeah. you're going to be using those products, uh, you want to make sure that you either see results from outside lab testing or you send the products to be tested yourself and then you'll only use that product because switching between different products can again cause some of those changes. A couple of years ago, we talked about this uh, large trial that uh, we did at UConn, this uh, systematic review, and we showed that people who started out on a generic anti-epileptic drug versus a brand name, that seizure control was exactly the same, but that when you switch from a brand to a generic or a generic to another brand, that in that next few weeks, your risk of having an ambulance ride, your risk of hospitalization, or the risk of going to need to see your doctor yeah. was greatly elevated. So little changes in dose can have big changes overall in seizure control specifically. So consistency is very important. Yeah. Epidiolex will give it to you. Some of those others won't. Should you treat your, your child yourself with CBD oil? Yeah. That's potentially risky because mm -hmm. in the package insert for Epidiolex, they do have evidence that there are raising liver function tests. So if you're not testing for those things with this blood test, you may end up with liver failure. Okay. If you're doing that test and you can take people off therapy when you just see some small bumps, you won't have any risk of that. There's also drug interactions. CBD can both drop the concentrations of some drugs right. and raise the concentrations of other drugs. Okay. So if this child is already being treated with two or three traditional anti-epileptic drugs, it would be a shame if the ones that they were using actually had a drop in concentration when right. you use CBD or that others had an increase so the side yeah. effects may go up or the 
uh, effectiveness that you were getting from some of those other therapies may dramatically go down. Okay. If you're working with your doctor, if you're yep. working with your pharmacist, that shouldn't be a problem. So there you go. Yeah, well properly supervised epidiolex would be the optimal solution if it turns out uh, that you have that particular type of seizure disorder that it could help. Uh, thank you so much, thank Doctor. You. Good to see you again. As always, ask the pharmacist, uh, send questions to morningnews at fox61.com. We will pass them over to Dr. White.